telling you, don't change who you are because that's what I did. I did that same exact thing. People used to tell me all the time at my show, you're too assertive, you're too direct, you're too matter of fact. People told me that all the time. People always told me like, hey, like you need to dial it back a little bit. Even when I spoke, like when I speak, I speak like this. It's natural, okay? When I was growing up, my dad always wanted, wanted me to be strong, independent. And my dad always wanted me to be able to take care of myself and depend on no, no one, right? Um, so with that, being, with that being stated, and I just pray that God that you just give me what it is that you want me to tell them because this was on my heart. So that's what I'm going to do, God. Sorry, God, I just have to pray and tell God just to allow the words to flow and just allow me to speak and tell you guys what I want to tell you guys. So growing up, I was always real assertive, even the way I walk. The way I walk, uh, it's not the most daintiest walk, but the way I walk, it's real, got a little masculine energy to it. But when I walk my posture straight, my head is up like this. And when I walk, I just walk with confidence, right? When I talk, I talk with confidence. When I speak to other people, I make sure that I give them uh, eye contact. When I shake their hand, I make sure it's a firm handshake. Cause I want them to know, like, look, I am an I. everything here is intact. I, I am who I am. I am who I say I am. And no matter what situation I am, I am in, I am myself all of the time. So what you guys see through these videos, that's real life me. If y'all see me at the gym, if you guys see me at a coffee shop, if you guys see me at the mall, wherever you guys see me at, right? I don't know if y'all gonna see me, which I know y'all get what I'm saying, but wherever you guys see me at, the person that you guys see on all these videos, that is the person that I am 24 seven, all of the time all the time and every day in my life leading all the way up to where i am now i always told myself right always 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 told myself be who you are even in situations where i felt small be who you are even in situations where other people act differently than me be who you are even in situations where you want to shrink shrink down to a person that you are not and you want to be like everybody else because that will make you feel better. Be who you are. Even in situations when you are with people that are more educated, that have more income coming in, that are more successful uh, than you, people that carry themselves way better than you carry yourself, be who you are, right? No matter what, I am who I am. And I told myself, do not lose yourself in the sauce. Be yourself all the time. Be yourself all the time. Cause even in school, everywhere I was at, anywhere I was at, high school, no, high school people accepted me for who I am. But even then there's periods, period of times where people always question my show. Like, why are you not more girly? My show, why do you have to talk all the time? Why do you always have to have an opinion? Um, why when you uh, disagree on something, why do you have to voice, you, voice your opinion? Do you know how to stay in a woman's place? I will never forget, I went to this restaurant and I went with my, one of my friends and she invited her friends. And everybody laughed at me, bro, because I didn't know how to use chopstick. Me, in that moment of time, I'm not gonna lie, I, I was embarrassed, right? I was embarrassed and after that, I was like, you know what, I don't wanna go anywhere else with them because if y'all gonna make me feel this small, like really, like why is the attention always on me? Like why, why is that? Even when I sit at the table, I feel like everybody's just, like just waiting for me to say something, waiting for me to respond, waiting for something. But you know what I learned? That it's the energy, it's the energy. They pick up on good energy. They pick up on strength. They pick up on different. When people don't know different, that's interesting, interesting to them. That's intriguing. They want to know more about you. And I noticed that I didn't get it. I didn't get it then, but I get it now. So I was like, what, what, why ever, can, can I just sit down? Can it, can a beep? I just be me can i just relax but it's like i feel like um the limelight is always on me and i notice that because god has a calling on my life and i notice that in the profession that i want to be in um the light's going to be on me you know what i mean and people that are special like you people that are special like you you people gravitate to you people see your light so they want to follow that so after i re i realized that now but i did not realize that then and i never i, I would never forget how small i felt at that table and I was like, damn, man, everywhere I go, I feel like I like I can't be me, man. Like it's it's always a problem. It's always a problem being me. But once I noticed, once I was like, you know what? I know who I am. This is 
this is who I am. You know what I mean? Even with my friends, like my friends, they always had a problem with it. And I'm like, you know what? If y'all got a problem with, with it, then obviously, I, you guys are not meant to be my friends. I know I'm a great friend to you guys, but obviously, like, you guys are not the friends that God has for me. And I noticed that the friends that God, God has for me, they don't judge me at all. When I'm around them, I can be myself. I want to hang out with them. You know, when they talk to me, it's always enlightening. It's always beautiful. It's always encouragement. It's always all that. Like, you know what I mean? Because what? They're help, They're happy about themselves. They're content with who they are. And I want to always be around people who are content with who they are. I don't want to be around people that get intimidated because of who I am. You know? And I told myself, I'm like, look, like, I'm not about to street got them down no more. I'm not about to... Be small. Before all my talents, I, I've, I've always been very talented. I, I started to dumb it down, right? Even in sports, they didn't really try. Singing didn't really try. They didn't really try anything. And nobody really knew why, because every time I did something, everybody always thought I was showing off. It's not showing off, boo-boo. It's just God's gifted talent that he has with me. I, 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 can't, I can't even explain it. Even with boxing, I can outbox a lot of boxers. You know what I mean? And I started when I was 18. I was always, you know, in street fights and all that stuff like that, but I don't really think that counts. Um, one of my coaches told me it did, so I was like, for real? But I didn't actually start boxing until I was 18, and I boxed all the way up until I was like 25 years old. So people that have been doing it for years, when they got in there with me, like, it was like, what? Like, you know what I mean? Because, like, it's, it's just a gift. So I'm at this point in time where I told God, look, I'm just gonna let your gift shine. Whatever it is, I'm just gonna let it shine. I cannot let people hold me back. I cannot let people, what people say about me, stop me from being who God has me to be. People say bad things about me all the time. I spoke to a woman yesterday. She was like, you know what? I don't know why you're always in defense mode. And I told her, excuse me, in a very respectful way. I'm like, I'm not always in defense, defense mode. I really think my personality probably rubs you the wrong way. And that's not a me problem. That's a you problem. People that are insecure and people that, you know, are not insecure with who they are, how I am bothers them. But I notice when I talk to other successful people and I talk to other people that have the same mindset as me, they don't get intimidated. You know what I mean? So it's like, I've noticed that people tell me that the way I am, dial it down, the way I talk. And I and I, and I, and I was a fool, but I would listen to them. At a moment in time, I would listen to them. And then I'm at that point like, no, if it bothers you, bro, that's you. You know, on here, people say things about me all the time. They're like, it's the way you carry yourself why people always think you're mad. It's the way you carry yourself why people always think you have masculine energy. And there's nothing wrong with having masculine energy, okay? A lot of women are very feminine. And I think feminine women are beautiful. You know, I have a lot of friends that are very feminine. And the way they carry themselves, the way they walk, the way they dress, everything's very feminine. And I love it. I'm like, wow, you know, like... I really wish I could be that feminine. I'm feminine sometimes, I mean, when I dress up and stuff like that, but um, as far as the way I act, I, I'm not feminine. So it's okay with having masculine energy. It's okay with being a strong woman. It's okay with being independent. It's okay with talking with a little strength. You know what I mean? Men talk with strength. Why? What's the problem of a woman talking with strength? I don't feel like there's a problem. You know, I'm just at that point where I am who I am. So the reason, let me direct this video back to you. It's on me. Let me direct this video to you. You are the way you are because God needs you to be the way you are to get to your destination. You are the way you are because your kids need you to be that way. You are the way you are because your job needs you to be that way. You are the way you are because what God has for you, they need a person like you. Okay? They need a person like you. So be true to who you are and do not let a spouse, a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend change who you are. If they start critiquing you, honey, I'm sorry, that's not the person for you. If they start trying to pick apart, I don't like this, I don't like that, they're not the person for you because the person for you is gonna love you and cherish you for who you are. So you just have to stand tall in that and believe in that. And even when you doubt yourself, start praying. I pray, when I'm in doubt, I pray, I say, God, look, I ain't feeling a little confident right now. So can you just give me strength? God, I'm in a room with people that are totally different than me. Can you help me be able to be myself and be able to feel comfortable? Can you help me not show that I'm uncomfortable? Can you help me, please? You brought me to this room. Can you please help me remain who I am? And no matter where I'm at, I remain who I am. Even if I could, like today, I went to the car dealership. Hi, my show. Hi, how are you? How are you doing today? 
I'm good. Oh, I'm blessed. Can you tell me about my car? Like, I just make I make it a point to be myself no matter what, no matter what interaction, no matter what I'm doing. Even when it's even when it's in friendships, relationships, anybody I come in contact, what you see is what you get. What you see is what you get. I cannot deal with people that are not like that. Okay, I know that I do come in contact with people that are like that. I love them, I love all people. I love people like God loves people. I love all people. I love all people, right? And I love those people that are wicked. There's a lot of wicked people out there. We have a lot of wicked friends, wicked coworkers, wicked family members. We have a lot of wicked, right? But I love them and I deal with them accordingly. Where God's taking me, I can't be around wicked people. My spirit, God has been working on my spirit. If you're not right, I cannot be around you. That's just how it is. So I, this video was on my heart. Like I say in all my videos, this video was on my heart. And no matter what, even if you're not confident in you are, in who you are, find confidence. Read up on confidence. Read up on different things you can do to show confidence. Read up on different things, how to gain confidence. And if you guys want to, for me to go into more details on how I keep my confidence, I can most definitely do that for you guys. I don't have no problem, you know. Um, but I just want to tell you, just continue to be who you are. Don't let nobody change you. Be 100. This is the 100 Club, okay? I'm lit. I'm lit. Because this is the 100 Club. And what I mean by that is that we keep it 100 no matter what. That we keep it 100 no matter where we are. And we keep it 100 with whoever we come in contact with. And we keep it 100 with advice. And we keep it 100 with our friends. Do you know how many of my friends get so mad because I give them raw advice? Raw is all you're gonna get from me, boo-boo. I don't stroke egos. I don't blow smoke up your ass. I'm sorry. I am not that kind of person. And, and if you're looking for somebody to be that way, Maybe I'm not the person for you. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not the friend for you. But be who you are. I love who you are. You're beautiful. Your heart is different. It's made different. Stand tall in that. Believe that God made you who you are. Okay? I feel like people that tear other people apart, they have low self-esteem. They're insecure. And they have different things that they're not handling. Don't let that shake you. Don't let people's words shake you. That's the thing about me. I was telling my daughter, I said, until the day God decides to take you to beautiful heaven up above, people gonna talk about you. People gonna always have everything to say about you. But me, a lot of people don't like me. And guess what? I sleep the same at night, I get more sleep. People don't like me, that's perfectly fine because I came to realization and I came to accept that the, who I am is not for everybody. And that's perfectly fine. Even when I go on YouTube, there's some girls that have beautiful content, right? But my spirit, it doesn't align with them. Not saying that they're not a good person, not saying they're not good at what they do, because obviously they are, because they're successful. They have a successful YouTube channel and I can't connect with them. Sometimes you're not gonna connect with everybody. Sometimes people are not always gonna connect with who you are. But just pray to God that he allows you to connect with difficult people. I noticed that because the field I work in, I come across different difficult people all day. I dealt with a family yesterday where I wanted to walk out. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wanted to say, fuck it, <laughs> I'm out. I wanted to say, bro, when you're in a better mood, let me come back, right? But I kept praying to God, I'm like, God, please help me. Please help me adapt in this situation. God, please help me be able to relate to this family. Please help me be able to relate to this mother. Please help me be able to connect, even though there's a dis a major disconnect, right? When I prayed that prayer during my meeting, do you know that the mom was so sweet to me and, and told me that she couldn't wait to um, for me to come back? Did you know that the mom told me that she that she felt like I was really sweet and I was very helpful and I really cared about her and her family's well-being? Do you know how good that made me feel? Because I prayed. I prayed, God, I know my personality comes off strong, but can you please let others know that I am not here to intimidate them? I'm here to do what you call me to call me to do. I'm here to follow your purpose. 
And if I'm not being myself, I'm not following what God has for me. If I'm not being myself, I'm not being true to who I am.